Hi, we Bob here, and in this video we are going to learn how to use my favourite new feature of Rebel 6, looking at some examples of how we can use this tool in our work. I have been trying to figure out which new feature I love the most for an escape motions competition. Those are the people that create Rebel, and there's an ongoing competition at the moment if you want to enter. And this is the tutorial that I've decided to make. And my favourite new feature depends on what result I am trying to achieve. But here is a piece of work I started the other day and I'm getting close to finishing it. As some of you may know, it's based on the amazing game that is The Last of Us, which I have completed both games in Last of Us 1 and Last of Us 2. There's no spoilers here as we have an upcoming TV series adaption coming in the new year. It is such an epic game, primarily due to the story that is told. Now, the feature I have chosen is the liquify tool, and it might seem a bit obvious, but I was looking for something and wanted to just look at one of the big features, and liquify is one of the biggest features. So I am still working on this drawing. I thought I would show you getting this tool and using it in my process. In my previous two videos, we discussed this tool, but this video is focusing slightly more on the subtle use of the liquify tool. At this point I have used the liquify tool in a few areas of the painting as shown, but mainly concentrating its use on water areas. I have some other drawings that I am working on that I will show you a wee bit later in this video where we use this tool in different ways and we get some great results. Let's talk about the first use, which is water, which makes sense as it is the liquify tool. To use the liquify tool, it is up here in our independent tool panel where it is under the smudge icon. When we select it, we get these options available to us. First off, for this water effect, we are going to work between the smudge tool and the push liquify tool to get this figure who's sitting in the water and try to get some ripples and some things into the water to make it look like water and using the liquify tool to help us. Just be aware that sometimes Rebel 6 will default the tool back to the smudge when swapping out for normal brushes or hitting the undo button. It varies, I'm not quite sure if it's going to be fixed in the future, but, but sometimes it has caught me out and I have, haven't realised and I am working away with the smudge tool thinking I am using the push liquify. These tools however are brilliant at allowing us to manipulate the paint on the canvas to be where we want it to go. So the opacity determines the strength and the size. I would like a wee bit more control at this point because you sometimes have to go to a large size of brush to get the push that you want. And I think there should maybe be a third slider. So pushing the light and dark colours together to give a wave type effect. I'm trying to build up this figure's reflection in the water as well. As you can see from the end result, I find this tool great for getting a liquid type look. Here are some other liquid examples where the tool has been used. In this example, I was just messing around but then thought it looked like a person had fell into the water, so I started doing this kind of splash effect and I think it worked quite well. I'm actually using two layers here, so a layer where the face can't be affected and then I duplicated the layer and then just started pushing that paint around. In this next example, on the same drawing, we have a liquify metal look as though the Terminator is being reformed, if you like movies, like me. Well, I love the Terminator movies as well. Big movie person here. Let's look at how we can use this tool to make trees. Here is another one of my recent paintings that I am still working on, but how could we use the liquify tool to make trees? It really is quite simple as, again, using the liquify push, we can pull the paint, push the paint, um, in the direction that we want. Now combining this technique with changes to the opacity and strength slider, we can achieve different sizes of trees and different looks. Further, if we combine these techniques with Rebel 6's ability to resize the brush as you're painting while your pen is on the canvas, we can change the size and we can make small branches, we can make the branches longer. To do that we use the square brackets on the keyboard, or that's what I do, to change the size of the brush as I go. And if I want to taper off I just go to a really small size and we get a nice looking branch. Liquify push left can also give us some great painting manipulation and gives us some funky looking shapes. 
not to talk about this all the time and I have touched on it over and over again but these do take a bit of computing power and hopefully I will be upgrading my PC soon. It does work fine on smaller canvases though. Liquify can really help us to get the trees and branch shapes that we may be looking for as a basis for further painting. And you don't need to, sometimes you can look at the Liquify and not really like the, the colours, but get the blender out. I use a blender quite a lot to get rid of some of the Liquify look that we get, but it gives me that basis to carry on the drawing, get my trees. And something I actually struggle with is, is drawing trees and branches. I don't know why, but I do. Other parts here, we've got Liquify, Expand and Pinch, which are really great for certain areas of the painting, fixing certain areas of the painting. For example, in this painting, I was looking at the face a wee bit uneasy about something about the painting and asked my daughter to have a look at it. And she felt the same. There was something maybe with the eyes. So I was able to make the eye slightly bigger, which I think helped and uh, overall I was quite pleased with the result. Other subtle uses are for modifying a face if you think the face needs to be smaller or for adding details and folds of clothing as shown in some of these examples. An idea that was shared on the community on Escape Motions community by a fellow Rebel user Karen Bonacker. I'm hoping I've pronounced that name correctly but she had put a layer below using a metal and I thought I'd give this a go using the Liquify tool on some metal type paintings that I grabbed from, or metal type photography that I grabbed from Canva and using Liquify on them just to give them a bit of variation. Um, so liquefying these and then using uh, the layer mask as shown, we can come up with some great looking alterations to our painting, giving them this metal look and some weirdness and you can liquefy further to even get that metal look Again, I've had a few people mention to me about metal paints in Rebel, which they don't exist at this time, but the Liquify tool can help us to get a, a sort of metal look to various parts of our drawings. The Liquify tool can be further used with variations, variations to hair, and lots of different options, and that's why I love it. That's why I'm featuring it in this short video, just to give you an idea of what you can use it for and how to use it. So hopefully it's been of use to you. If you do want a big full introduction to Rebel 6, please check out the video up in the corner or there might be another video on my playlist that you would like to see. So thanks for watching and Wee Bob is out.